Okay, so we're continuing the test. 3D, okay, with this. In this class, let us discuss this question. You can write it down along with me. Write the atomic structure of the following, okay, following atoms. Okay, so let us take some atoms. So let us write down the question and follow me. Uh, the first one. Okay, so let's draw the structure of sodium atom, let us say. Sodium atom has the symbol capital N small a. Okay. Then here it's atomic number, write it down. Is eleven, okay. And the mass number. Every atom has got atomic number and mass number. Mass number is twenty-three. So if we have the atomic number and the mass number as it is given here for sodium, we can easily draw the structure. So as we go along, we'll, we'll be getting to understand what is mass number, atomic number also. So here, every atom has a central nucleus, means just draw the central. Before that, it just right here. So from here, we can get the number of uh, protons. Atomic number means simply the number of protons. So for sodium atom, the number of protons will be given by the atomic number, which is 11. So atomic number 11 means proton has 11 protons. Okay, so and then number of electrons. Let's just write in short form E here. Okay, electrons if you like. Electrons. Number of electrons. So 11 protons and it has got 11 electrons so that is given for any atom that uh, whatever is the number of protons the same will be for the number of electrons every atom has got equal number of protons and electrons that's why we know if protons there are 11 protons in sodium atom then it will have same number of electrons okay remember that that's true for every atom then we know there are three particles of an atom so the last one number of okay number of neutrons okay neutrons the three particles found in atoms are protons electrons and neutrons and neutrons is given by mass number this is the formula mass number minus atomic number mass number minus atomic number will give you the number of neutrons so mass number here is 23 so 23 minus atomic number is here 11 so 23 minus 11 is i think 12 so there will be 12 neutrons 23 minus 11 so 2 12 right so once you find out how many atom how many protons electrons and neutrons are there we can easily draw the atom now so you draw the central nucleus okay this will be the structure central nucleus every atom has a stationary central part called the uh, nucleus and nucleus contains protons and neutrons okay let me take it on the right side these protons and these neutrons will be found only in the center nucleus so this nucleus of sodium therefore has 11 protons and 12 neutrons so we have located the Protons and neutrons, they are situated in the middle of the atom and stationary, they are not they are not moving. And the electrons will be found around the nucleus, not stationary but moving in circular paths called orbits. Okay, so we know according to Bohr Bury rule, the first shell has got two electrons maximum, second shell has got by using this one. Uh, 2n square formula sorry 2 
n square formula. So here, eight electrons. Third shell has got maximum. So eighteen electrons and so on. So here in the first shell, this it has eleven electrons. Means according to Borby rule, the first is got two. Maximum two is possible. Then we got second shell, eight. So you draw here eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in the second shell. So eight plus two in the first shell is ten. But there are eleven electrons. So that one electron left will have to put in the third orbit. I have no space, but you draw it. You can put it here, here, whatever. So two plus eight in the second shell, ten in the third shell is one electron. So this is the structure of sodium atom. Now here, how many? Uh, there is only one electron in the last orbit. Here, the first orbit is here, second and third orbit. The third orbit is the last orbit. The number of electrons, the electrons found in the outermost shell, the last shell here in the third shell here in this case, one electron are called valence electrons. So we know now that sodium has only one valence electron. Valence electron, I repeat, means the electrons in the outermost orbit. So this here, two electrons in first orbit is not valence electron. Second one also not. The third is the outermost. So whatever electron is found in this last orbit or the outermost orbit is called valence electron. Keep that in your mind. Okay. So this is the structure of sodium atom. Let's draw the structure of three atoms. So we can draw here now, second atom, follow me, just draw along with me. Sodium, I think next will let us take magnesium. Magnesium, the atomic number is 12, okay, 12, write it down. And the mass number, mass number is 24, I think. So we have to sort out now using this information number of protons, electrons, etc. So here, number of protons is given by atomic number. So atomic number of magnesium is 12 means, it simply means it has 12 protons. So number of electrons will also be 12 because they are always same. Whatever is the number of protons is the number of electrons. We have learned it in the first example also, sodium. Number of neutrons, three particles are there in every atom is Mass number minus atomic number. So 24 minus 12 is 12 neutrons are there. So we, oh, this is electron, sorry. This is electron. Once we know how many protons, electrons, and neutrons are there, very easy to draw the atom. So let us draw here. Center part nucleus has protons and neutrons. These two will be found. 12 proton, 12 neutron will be found in the. Hmm, Nucleus. So the, this magnesium atom has got 12 protons and 12 neutrons in its nucleus. Means the center part and stationary, not moving. The particles are not moving. The only particle that moves is the electron. Now, according to Borby rule, first shell has got according to what? Two n square rule, two maximum electrons. Second shell has got according to two n square rule. A third has got according to n square rule, 18 and so on. Right, so here it has got 12 electrons, means first shell maximum is 2, so we cannot put more than 2, plus 8 in the second shell, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. 8 plus 2 is 10, but it has got 12 electrons, so those 8 plus 2, 10, still 2 more, has to go to the third shell. So the outermost shell is the third shell and it has 2 electrons, so we will say Magnesium has two valence electrons. Valence electrons, as I said, are electrons found in the outermost shell or orbit of an atom. Okay, so one more will go. The third one. And I think these three examples will be enough for us to understand structure of an atom. Aluminium. Atomic number is 13. Okay, write it down. And here, at mass number is, aluminium is 27. So write it down. That means atomic number 13 means protons and electrons will be 13. Because atomic number is the number of protons. And we know protons and electrons are equal in number. The number of neutrons will be mass number here, 27 this time, minus 13 atomic number. So 
27 minus 13 will be 4 1 so 14 neutrons are here neutrons protons electrons are there so you can easily draw the structure so draw your nucleus this is the nucleus having 13 protons and 14 neutrons aluminium has got in its nucleus first shell is maximum two electrons second shell as i said is eight one two three four five six seven and eight so we have here eight eight plus two ten but aluminium has 13 electrons so this three electron will go to the third shell the maximum is 18 so you can easily put this three eight plus two ten plus three thirteen so the outermost shell again is the third shell and it has three electrons means magnesium has got three valence electrons okay so this is how we draw the structure of atoms please remember this definition that we learned today the electrons present in the outermost shell or orbit of an atom are called valence electrons okay this is important because valence electrons are the only electrons that take part in a chemical reaction okay so that concludes the this class portion will continue the next part the next class